Effo with Pack Crack Fear. Today we're cracking an Ixalan fat pack or a bundle, uh, if you want to call it that. So let's get cracking. I haven't cracked much Ixalan. In fact, I still have a. Well, I've done a fair amount of Ixalan. I still have a booster box that I haven't cracked yet that I was holding to do a collab video yet, but I don't know if that's going to happen. Uh, but I do like Ixalan as a set. That's some decent value. Certainly has more value than uh, some of the other standard sets. So let's hope we get some good stuff. Like uh, Search for His Conta is still the big one. And uh, Nebraska's Contempt is almost worth as, worth as much as that. So I never show any of this stuff, but somebody asked me to show all the stuff that comes with it. So here's a little poster that comes with the uh, fat packs. Uh, and then the box, a little booklet. All right, and then the box, which I still don't know what purpose it serves, but I guess you could put uh, all kinds of things in there, right? And uh, here's the fat pack, which is going to have 10 boosters. And look at that, that's weird. Aren't these boosters usually like shrink wrapped together? That's kind of strange. All right, so we got our spin down dice we got a red one we got our pack of Ixalan basic lands we got our little rule booklet we got our 10 packs so let's move on to the packs and see what we get search for his contest the big one I like any of the flip lands uh, just because like they pretty much all fit into some kind of commander deck that I have those are also opt so if we get opt as a common uh, it's you know, a good 50 or 75 cents or something good for trading. Um, and then an un uncommon, there's unclaimed territory, which is like a $5 uncommon. So, uh, let's see, Trove of Temptation, Papers of Nature, Raptor Hatchling, and Death Gorge Scavenger. So, Death Gorge Scavenger is not bad. It's a good, uh, what is it, like around $5 or something? Or maybe a little bit less. Uh, but that's a good one. Pretty good way to start with a Plains and a Plant Token. So let's put our commons over here. No opt yet. Opt is a common. Let's see if we get it. An opt in unclaimed territory to really help uh, meet the value of these boxes, which are going for about 28 bucks. Uh, so let's see. Well, I guess opt wouldn't help all that much. It's only about 50 cents. But unclaimed territory would, and that's uncommon. So here's our first uncommon elaborate fire cannon. Grove of Temptation. We already got one of those. Drover of the Mighty, and our rare is Primal Amulet. So we got one of the flips right away. This is only a couple bucks, but I do like all these Primal Amulets, which flips into Primal Wellspring, of course. Uh, we got a Checkland card, or Checklist card, and a Vampire Token. Uh, so, so far we got a pretty good rare, and we got one of the flips. This is going pretty well. Let's see if we can keep it going. There's our next one. Blow through here quick. See if we grab an opt to send out on card sphere. Okay, Ruthless Knave. Our first uncommon. Dusk Legion Dreadnought. Emissary of Sunrise. And our rare Verdant Sun's Avatar. Verdant Sun's Avatar I don't think is a lot of uh, value here. And behind that we got another checklist and a token. So our first kind of dud is a rare. Verdant Sun's Avatar. I don't that might be like a bulk level rare. I don't think it's worth much at all. No opt. I just want to get one unclaimed territory. I always had bad luck with those high value uncommons. Like I would never, I never cracked a fatal push. Anyone who watches my channel knows I didn't get many of them. Uh, Grim Captain's Call, Bishop of the Bloodstain, and Dead Eye Quartermaster. So no unclaimed territory yet. Ruin Raider. Ruin Raider, I think it's only like 50 cents or something right now. It's a great card. I hope that it'll find uh, some good place in standard because it's one of the better pirate cards. But we'll see. There's not a standard Pro Tour till I think Dominaria, which is in June. So we'll probably have to wait till then to get any kind of good decks uh, out of that. Maybe some Dominaria cards will help it. I think it was worth a little bit of a while during pre order and like right when Nixon came out. But had never really found a good competitor spot. 
All right, no opt again. I'm not getting any of the chase uncommons, and neither is neither the chase common either. So navigator's ruin, bellowing Aegisaur, thundering spineback, and our rare is rowdy crew, a mythic, a uh, mythic rowdy crew. I don't think this is a very chasey mythic, but a mythic nonetheless. Always happy to get a mythic. Uh, with a dinosaur token and a basic mountain. So we got a mythic. We got a couple good or decent rares. And then the rest are kind of duds. We got four packs to go. Alright. No opt. <laughs> Still not getting an opt. Okay. Alright. Vine Shaper Myth Stick. Steadfast Armosaur. Imperial Aerosaur, and our rare is Tishana, Voice of Thunder. So Tishana, Voice of Thunder is going to be another Mythic. So we got two Mythics in this fat pack. Uh, but this is only, I think, a couple bucks for Tishana, Voice of Thunder. Whoa! <laughs> All right. Well, that made up probably most of our cost of this fat pack, a Foil Legion's Landing. Uh, so this is one of the better... Flip lands, uh, I think the non-foil is around four bucks, but I think the foil one is at least I think ten or fourteen bucks. Uh, so that is a good score right there. And I know uh, someone who takes foils very seriously is probably watching, so I'm going to sleeve this immediately, make sure it stays in VG condition. And wow, that's a great pull. Foil Legion's Landing is a great card to crack if you're going to crack a foil. All right, so we're doing pretty well. That probably helped the total value of this uh, crack. Uh, looming. Okay, well, it's not good to the comments. Unless we get an opt. We got a foil rare. Can we get an opt or a unclaimed territory? We'll see. Dinosaur Stampede. Sheltering Light. Seeker Squire. And our rare is going to be Dreamcaller Siren. Dreamcaller Siren is our rare. Another... Kind of bulk rare. Oh, we got another foil. This is the lurking chupacabra. Now, I don't know if chupacabra was canon before. Look at that foil process. Really interesting. Look at that. <laughs> it looks pretty cool. Uh, but the one that's kind of sought after is the ravenous chupacabra, which is in Rivals of Islam. Uh, this one is just a lurker. Uh, he's not the one most people are looking for, but we got another foil. And if we got a foil, we know what we got to do. We got to sleeve it immediately. Keep it uh, in VG condition. Perfect. So two foils and two mythics. We still got three packs to go. We're doing pretty well so far, I think. Uh, well, I don't, wish I knew off the top of my head what that Legion's Landing went for in foil. I think well, I bought one right when it was at its lowest. Just because I wanted it for Commander. But I don't know if it's gone up been played a lot because it's great in tokens. Uh, Wily Goblin. Marauding Looter. Fiery Cannonade, so no unclaimed territory. And Sunbird's Invocation. Sunbird's Invocation is a card that I had high hopes for. Never really did much. And another foil. <laughs> foil Blinding Fog. So we've got three foils. Two Mythics in this fat pack so far. It's looking pretty good. Uh, it's a foil common, right? But it's a foil nonetheless. We like foils. And popper's a thing now. Who knows, one day someone might find a place for this. And uh, the foil becomes suddenly worth something. But I'm pretty happy with three foils and three mythics so far. Let's see if we can keep the good luck streak going. Good luck, although we haven't hit an opt or an unclaimed territory yet. And that continues here, okay. Pillar of Origins. Snapping Sailback. Lightning Strike. And our rare is Repeating Barrage. Repeating Barrage, not very valuable with a check land or check card and a merfolk token. All right, so this is our last pack. We haven't hit our value yet. It's going to all come down to this. It would be great to knock this out of the park with a Varaska or... Raska's Contempt, or even Huatli, uh, something like that. Maybe an Opt. <laughs> opt would be nice. Okay, Unknown Shores. That was Unclaimed Territory for a second there. Okay, so there's all the commons. 
no opt. Kite Sail Freebooter uh, is something that's actually been played in Modern a lot, but I don't think uh, this has a lot of value. Great card, but not very valuable because uh, it really doesn't see play all that much play. Sentinel Totem, our last uncommon. Savage Stomp, so no unclaimed territory out of 10 packs. And our rare is Growing Rights of Litlamok, okay? So this is a good one. This is not Search for his Kanta, but um, I think that this used to be worth something. I don't know off the top of my head if it's still... It's got to be worth a couple bucks, right? Maybe at least a dollar. <laughs> Growing Rights of Litlamok. So let's see how we did. I think we did pretty good. I'm pretty confident that we hit our $28 or $30 uh, threshold here to get back our value of the fat pack. So let's take a look at everything we got. Uh, first of all, we got three foils. So that's great, especially that Legion's Landing. That's going to be pretty valuable. Uh, and then on uh, our rares, we got a couple of the flip rares. Primal Amulet, Growing Rights. Let's put these over here. So a little bit more room. Primal Amulet, Growing Rights, Death Court Scavenger is going to be our valuable ones, and these ones I don't think are worth a whole lot. And Uncommons is not really much to crow about in the Uncommon. Uh, Field of Ruin and Unclaimed Territory would have been the ones uh, that would have given us some good value, but uh, we didn't get it this time. Uh, but I think we still did pretty good. Of course, I got the values below. Uh, so you'll know if I hit the $30, I think $28. Uh, value on this and uh, these cards uh, if you're interested in any of these they're available for trade on Cardsphere so you can hit me up there or if you're not a part of Cardsphere you can find me on Twitter at Pat Crack Fever. and if you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe and check out uh, my other videos I'll put a couple of them here and here uh, so this is Efren with Pat Crack Fever thanks for watching and we'll see you next time